Hey guys, Dean here. I'm sure you, that you've heard that in just a couple of days, uh, the end of the world is going to occur. And, uh, you know, just a bunch of hogwash, really. Uh, but I wanted to create just this video and take a couple minutes to just uh, share with you uh, the Christian view of the rapture and, you know, the end times. Uh, you know, and, and, know, and I want you also to know that this guy, Harold Camping, and, and the ministry that he oversees really does not represent... Uh, Christianity uh, as a whole. He is really uh, a very, uh, very much on the fringe and does not represent what we would call orthodoxy or right thinking uh, regarding uh, the end times. And so I uh, just want to take a couple minutes. Uh, you know, so if you just uh, hang out with me for a couple minutes and hopefully it'll shed some light on, on the Christian's view of the rapture and uh, the judgment of the world and all this sort of thing. There are certainly many different views on the rapture, uh, whether many Christians don't believe that the rapture is a biblical teaching, uh, but it is commonly accepted uh, by much of Christendom as to be you know, an acceptable doctrine or teaching of the church that the rapture is very much uh, real and will occur. And uh, within that group that believes in the rapture, there are essentially uh, three, although there are technically more, but there are three main camps uh, that believe, uh, you know, as to when it'll occur. Some believe it'll happen before what's known as the seven-year tribulation. Some believe it'll happen there in the middle, and some believe it'll happen at the end. And so there are different views of the rapture. Uh, but I did want to really get into that and break down all the nuances of the different, uh, you know, views of it and all. But I just wanted to take a couple minutes and and just really share uh, the logic behind the biblical teaching of the rapture. You see, the rapture is for the church. It is an, it is an occasion in which the Lord will call up his bride. And, and, and the church, uh, the children, those that are, uh, believe in Jesus uh, and have received, uh, you know, by faith the salvation that he offers, um, the, the Bible calls that the, the bride of Christ. And so the church as a whole is known as the bride of Jesus. It's at this time at the rapture that Jesus will call up his bride and the reason behind this um, is, 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 is essentially that, as, as Paul the Apostle writes, is that we, that is, believers, are not appointed unto wrath. It's during the seven-year tribulation that God will pour out his wrath. The, the, the world will be, as in the days of Noah, uh, so wicked, uh, completely evil. And, uh, and, and so uh, the Lord will take home his church to be with him, and then he will pour out his wrath on the world. Uh, that has rejected him. And, and the reason, the logic uh, behind the rapture, as I see it biblically, is that uh, for those that believe, uh, the reason that we're not appointed unto wrath is that Christ himself on the cross took the wrath for our sin. He took the punishment that we deserve. You see, that's the gospel. It's the just for the unjust. It's, it's the simple fact that he paid the price for our sin so that we don't have to. And by simply believing in him, by simply acknowledging that he is God, that he was sent to atone for our sins, by that simple act of faith, uh, we receive the forgiveness that he afforded us on the cross. And so it would be uh, really unjust of God, uh, while pouring out his wrath on Jesus Christ, where, whereby we're covered by uh, that atoning sacrifice, then to uh, make us uh, face his wrath and pay that price uh, during the tribulation period. So the idea is very simple. He's just going to take us up. You know, we're going to be with him. He's going to you know, pour out his wrath on the world in the seven-year tribulation. And uh, Christians uh, don't have to face that. Uh, now, in terms of pinning down a date, uh, I just visited uh, Harold Camping's website. And I tell you, his biblical interpretation techniques uh, are suspect, to say the least. And uh, Jesus himself uh, says that no man knows the day or the hour that he will uh, return, uh, you know, to, to take his uh, church home. And uh, it's very, uh, you know, it's hard to misinterpret uh, those words of Jesus. It's simple. No man will know the day or the hour. But what we do know is that it's coming. And so, uh, hey, I want to encourage you, if you don't know Jesus, uh, maybe you're carrying away around the, the weight of shame and guilt. You understand that there's sin in your life. And uh, maybe you're in denial about, I don't know. Uh, but the fact is, we've all sinned. I've sinned. Uh, I'm guilty, and by the grace of God, I've received his forgiveness because I believe uh, that Jesus paid the price for my sins. I've turned from living a life of sin 
to living a life for him. I'm in no stretch of the imagination perfect, uh, but boy, he's gracious and understanding, and, and I walk with him, and, and, I, and I desire to, to just honor him with my life. And, and really, that's all that God asks. He, he wants all that would, you know, would just come to him and, and desires that all would be saved. He desires that you would be saved. He wants to uh, give you freedom from the guilt and the shame uh, from all the wrong that you've done. And in doing so, you, you have no worries in terms of facing uh, the judgment or the wrath of God. Uh, you don't have to worry about an eternal condemnation, but rather uh, eternal uh, blessedness, eternal salvation, uh, that is being in heaven with the Lord. And so this, uh, I think, all can sound pretty far out uh, to, to many people who are not of the Christian faith. Uh, but I assure you, God is real, and all you need to do is look at the magnificence of this creation and understand that uh, a God must have, have put this all together, and indeed he did. A God that cares for creation, although we've rejected him, although we are living for ourselves and even deny him, uh, he loves us and he desires us to walk with him. So, you know, this nut job, Harold Camping, and his prediction uh, really affords an opportunity, I hope, for us all to consider uh, our eternal uh, you know, destiny and where we're going to be. So, um, hey, uh, don't buy into this uh, whole thing uh, for Saturday the 21st. It would be great if it did happen then. Uh, I can't think of anything better than to be with the Lord. Uh, but, hey, it's, it's uh, you know, not going to happen. And, uh, but but the, the truth remains that we all must uh, make a decision, this side of eternity, uh, and that decision, that choice that we make regarding who Jesus Christ is to us uh, will impact our, our, you know, like I said, our eternal position. So listen, I hope that uh, in, in some way, uh, you know, this video helps you to understand uh, our view, that is the Christian view of the end times. It's in no way uh, meant to be an exhaustive, nuanced look at uh, our beliefs regarding the end times. Certainly, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me. It's dean at calvarysolidrock.com. I'm not going to have a graphic on the screen, but it's calvary, C-A-L-V-A-R-Y, dean at Calvary solidrock.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Hey, I hope you're having a great day and choose Jesus. God bless you. Bye.